one key thing Buhari would be remembered for when he leaves office in 2023. President Buhari is being criticized by most Nigerians today. Most Nigerians criticize President Buhari on a daily basis because of one reason or the other. Though we might be having insecurity issues in different parts of the country, but that does not mean that President Buhari is a failure because he is trying his best. When President Buhari's tenure eventually comes to an end in the year 2023, he's going to be remembered by Nigerians because of what he did in the area of infrastructure. Before President Buhari came to power in the year 2015, we don't have good functional rail line in Nigeria. But few years after he became the president of the country, things have changed. As it stands now, the Cardinal to Abuja rail line is working. The Lagos to Ibadu rail line is also working and other ones. Then let's talk about the second Niger bridge in Odisha and Nambara states. Before President Bari became the president of the country in the year 2015, there was nothing like second Niger bridge. But as it stands now, work is ongoing and the bridge is going to be completed very soon. I really think that President Bari has really done a lot in the area of infrastructure more than any other president in the history of Nigeria. President Buhari is really trying his best. It is highly impossible to have a president or a leader that is 100% perfect. Even the president of the United States of America is not perfect. You can't get any perfect leader anywhere in the world. Yes, we might be passing through a whole lot of challenges in the area of insecurity but I don't think that Bari is a failure. Let us try and appreciate him for once. I believe strongly that this present administration led by President Mahmoud Buhari is going to be remembered because of this. Though many people will disagree with me, but we are all entitled to our own opinions and I have just heard my own opinion here. What is your take on this? So guys, my opinion on this is um, fine. He has, he has done good things in helping the infrastructure. But let us see this parable or this trick. Once there's nobody in a particular town to use the infrastructure he has made, who is then going to use it? When everybody are being killed, are being terrorized by everybody in the, by some bandits or headsmen in the state. That is the that is the trick to it. You are you are working on infrastructure and you've not worked in the in the in the secure of lives of people. You have not worked in helping people to have peace of mind. And you're working on infrastructure. What if everybody gets killed by all these bandits and all these people that like how who is going to use it? Is it is it is it is it the senators or the or the representatives or the other people that work in the legislation? Is it them that's going to use it? We don't even want to use it self gone. The only is airplanes, private airplanes. Why have not worked in the life? Even all these railway job, I haven't heard that in one month that they attack some people that are in the railway place, that they in the railway station. They attacked everybody that is there. And now you're not coming to tell me that them um, he has done something good that we should appreciate him for once. We are not going to appreciate that type of president for once. Because of you've not helped in securing like people are dying every day. What do you talk? What, what do you, what do you say about that one? What are people that are dying every day? What what have you done about it? You haven't done anything. You are talking about the infrastructure. Fine, you done infrastructure, but we don't need that. We want people to be like enter. Even though I, I've I've seen other countries, I've seen other countries' videos in the night, 12 a.m. 2 a.m. You see them walking on the street. Some people will sit down on the street, be chatting with their friends, and nothing like that happen. If you go to Miami, Florida, you, you, there all those places that, that are bubbles in the United States, you see those places very well. In, in the midnight, you see them walking, and not to have them. Even some people, like their friends who call them, that please, can you come and visit me? 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the night. And they'll be able to go, they even drive safe. 
But in Nigeria, but in Nigeria, have you ever seen that type of thing? You go out 2 a.m. in the night, it's your cops will bring back in the night, it is bandits that will destroy the person. Fine, I've done the great thing infrastructure, if you have railway, but we don't need railway now. We need the secure we need the security for the lives of women and property. That is what we need in this country. Without without life, who is going to use the infrastructure? Who is going to use the infrastructure? Hmm? So let us that bring us to what people have said on social media about this news. Someone said, But are we Nigerians? Greatest president of all time on infrastructure development project, the second in J Bridge and the flyover bridge on Onisha over the expressway, and the 11 km from Okmanam before Asaba to Obusi is second to none. Buhari Igbo people doubt you. And someone replied, Help to complete the project, good, never its initiative and also the greatest contributor to the money blood and bank of Nigeria. And someone said, you haven't completed some of the achievements I can mention. Additional one like sponsor of Fulani Edmund, Baditri Boko Haram, he has also depopulated Nigeria. That is the thing. I see a lot of my friends now that are relocating abroad. You know, most people that we, that, that we, we stay around them, most of them are rich people. You see them relocating abroad because of the issue of insecurity. Nobody wants to lose their life. Nobody wants to die early. Look at NSAS protests that happened last year. That was like a menace that happened. Like that was one of I've never seen Nigeria in hot cake. Someone did just come out to say the police was shooting them. It is even the, the police itself gone they are never doing their work. Someone who said the primary objective of pre- of government laid down by the constitution is to ensure the security and welfare of its citizens of what is a bridge and railway like when a citizen's life in perpetual fear of being killed or kidnapped and also not sure where their next meal would come from that's what i just finished saying now someone said it of no use what is the use of the railway and everything when people are being killed what is the use of it hmm? as someone said he will be recommended for genocide Fulanis killed many citizens. Like, people are not happy with this administration. People are not happy. That is my own opinion. I'm not happy with this administration. Eh? I don't even understand. Someone said, Buhari is a complete failure. Security of the country is a priority. People are dying every day. He needs to do something for the insecurities. Hmm? May God help us in this country. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this news. 